Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for visiting me. My name is Rosalie and I talk about all things home decor in the style of country primitive with sprinkles of colonial and sometimes a little farmhouse. So thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to make a just a small video because I did some shopping this past weekend um, at some antique stores, but in particular, I found a new um, little country store um, by accident. Isn't that when you usually find like the best places or the best deals when you're not looking for them? So it is um, in the city of Norco for all my subbies that are in Southern California, you need to go check this store out. It's absolutely adorable. Um, it's a good size and it has a good mixture of um, reproduction stuff. So reproduction like vintage stuff, um, a little bit of primitive stuff. But what I really liked is that they had about, I think about four vendors um, that sold antiques there as part of the store so I was like all over that so it's like the best of both worlds you get to shop for new items um, reproduction items and then they also have a good variety of antiques there so you get everything in one store so i was just like so happy i'm sorry if you hear my kids like screaming they're in the pool outside they're chasing each other outside so most of you know i have little ones and that's just life so anyway um the store is called i don't want to get it wrong i have their cute little business card here country rose boutique so um that's the name of the store. There's two owners um, who are really super sweet and nice and welcoming, um, Lori and Brandy. Um, so just kind of wanted to give their store a little shout out there. I understand they moved to a new location and we were in Norco because um, my son who does English writing lessons is, you know, he's six and he's growing like a weed and He's been doing writing for a little over a year now, so he needed new paddock boots and um, like a writing jacket. Kind of looks, you know, like a little blazer. Um, he has another competition coming up in September, so I'm sure I'll post some um, pictures or maybe if you guys are interested in seeing some family vlogs, um, kind of like what we do on an average weekend. Um, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if we could start filming some of those for you just so you could kind of see what we're up to um, normally, like on a normal weekend. So we were in Norco and I had to go get him, um, you know, his boots and his writing stuff and um, you know, we love that town. Yeah, we go to tons of rodeos every year there. Um, so it's a fun little city. So we were, you know, we left the store where we had purchased his riding gear and I just happened to turn and look and I saw this little boutique and it was open and I'm like, let me go see because if you've all been following me or our regular subby, um, not too long ago, my favorite country store in downtown Covina closed after 30 years. And so I was kind of on the hunt for, you know, new country primitive um, type of stores because they're just not in abundance over here on the West Coast as I am sure they probably are um, on the East Coast. So I was just like, let me just go stop and, and look inside and see if it's worth it. Well, at, my husband said, after about 10 minutes and you didn't come out, I knew that, okay, she's having fun. <laughs> she found a, a new little store to shop at, which I did. Um, so I have a small haul from that particular store um, for you. I, however, um, if you all are familiar with shopping at antique stores and stuff or places that sell like vintage antique um, items, um, 
a lot of the times they'll have like the prize stuck or you know just like hanging from the item and then when they write up the receipt they'll pull it off and like kind of tape it to their like handwritten receipt um, which I think is what they did because I don't have um, price price tags or anything or stickers on them anymore and I can't find my receipt but I so I won't be able to, I'm sorry I won't be able to tell you how much I, I paid for each individual item but I can tell you that um, the most expensive item was like $23 um, so I didn't spend more on one particular item than that so there you go I'm sorry um, next time I'll be more careful with my receipt but this I'm not gonna call this a fall haul because it's not necessarily um, like fall decor these are items that um, when I go antiquing or or you know um, even to a store like this that has like a mixture of new and vintage stuff um, these are like staple pieces that I always buy like always um, because I know I'm gonna stick them somewhere or I'm gonna use them um, year-round all the time just for that primitive country touch um, so I was looking for stuff more of these items for fall however they're gonna be up in my home or on my front porch um, all year round so my kind my items kind of just like migrate all over my house depending on how I'm styling everything so let's get into the little goodies that I got okay first thing I want to show you guys is this um, vintage like mixer handheld mixer this is how they used to do things when you know before uh, KitchenAid I'm sure but it's, I thought it was so cute. And I happen to always like um, just gravitate to things that have red handles. Um, I love using red, um, in particular that like colonial barn primitive red. Um, so not like a deep bright red. But um, you all who know country primitive decor know probably exactly the kind of red that I'm talking about. But anything red with red handles I'm like ooh, what's that over there so just wanted to show you it's like has this red and like this it looks like a cream and of course it's old and used and chippy and that's the kind of stuff I like um, and then it's like of course like rusty and and then it has red a red little handle right here as well I'm trying to get it for you so I just thought that was adorable. So I got one of these. And then I um, also buy rolling pins. So, and I don't know why, of course, another red handle. So it's like used and chippy and I could tell it's original paint. It's not like painted over. Sometimes if you get a newer rolling pin, um, like if you see one in an antique store, you can tell that it's not really aged, but they try their best to like make it look aged and they'll like spray paint in and kind of sandpaper it to make it, give it that distressed look. But I could tell that this one is original paint and it's just chipping off. And the rolling pin is in good, good condition. Here's the other end. So I just got these. I have about five rolling pins that have um these red handles so just adding to my collection but these are items that i just always get and i'm always looking for um when i go out antiquing and then i got this white with black trim enamel bowl Let's see if you can see how deep it is it's about three inches i would say three inches deep and it's a really good size of course it has the little the little hole here that you could um, hang it I have a couple of really large ones hanging in my laundry room um, and then I have some scattered and sprinkled throughout my porch area 
Um, and then with the seasons, I change them out depending on the color of the trim. So I needed a black one for fall, um, or I wanted a black one for fall, and so this is what I got. And I have a, um, which I'm sure I'll be posting um, photos on Instagram when I have the home, my home decorated for fall um, after I post my fall home tour on YouTube. So I don't usually like to give sneak peeks before I do the tour, but after I'll give close-up shots of little vignettes that I've done throughout my house for fall on Instagram. So I got this, um, I do have a dry sink, so I'm probably gonna use, in fact, I brought it out here to kind of give you an idea what I kind of do um, for fall. So here is, I did not buy this this weekend, I have this, um, I bought this maybe two or three years ago, but it's this gorgeous white enamel with black trim um, pitcher. And so what I was thinking of doing was just setting it in here on my dry sink in my master bedroom and just you know filling filling it with fall foliage and sunflowers and maybe a, a few little decorative picks i know i have some um and then i don't know if i'm gonna put any decor in here i might maybe some dried up like rose hips or um, small little pumpkins with some fall leaves you guys kind of get the idea but I love um, enamel like this so there's that and then speaking of enamel I saw this and I was I loved the size I have oh, maybe like three four so around four um, vintage enamel um, coffee pots or tea I don't think these are tea kettles because I think they're a little big but they're like coffee pots or coffee kettles and I spotted this just sitting by its lonesome on the floor there and I was like I have to have that so here is this very large enamel black with like little um, white specks. I don't know if they call this like a certain um, type of finish or they did back in the day. I don't know. But um, then the little lid comes off. It's in really good condition inside. But what I like to do with these, what I'm thinking about doing with this one in particular, and it has a red handle um, with some black here. It kind of looks like it was made to look this way, but I didn't mind. They did a pretty good job, so I didn't mind. Um, and there's that. I don't know if you can see that there. But this size is, the size of this is what caught my eye. For larger ones like these, I could put them on the porch um, and just have, you know, whatever flowers um, coming out for fall. It's you know, I love using sunflowers for fall. Um, I was I could put this either on my noodle board or on my hanging um, hanging scale that I have in my kitchen, which I I'm thinking about doing that. Um, or perfect, I could do it. I could put this on my um, coffee station. So, and a good idea that you can also do it when you get very large pieces like this in a coffee station is you could just open it and put all of your um, K cups in it and store your K cups in there and then just you know just put the little cover on it maybe put a little um, I love putting um, gingham ribbon um, just tied around little you know tops of things and handles of things just to give it like a special little um, touch and detail so you could do that as well but I saw this and I loved the size of it so I got that and then let me get this over here this was the first item I spotted it is I have one of these cubbies but it's vertical and if you saw my home tour, you would notice it um, 
to the right of my refrigerator sitting on the counter space. It's like a very small just counter space in between the stove and the refrigerator. And I had um, some faux muffins in there with little doilies hanging from it. If you haven't seen my um, Americana home tour, I'll just link it below just in case. Um, or if you miss what I'm talking about, go ahead and watch it again, fast forward it, and you could see what I'm talking about. But I saw this and I was like, I need a space on my counter um, to feel. So I saw this and I'm like, this is perfect. So it's basically the same thing I have, but horizontal. So it's just this wood primitive black a distressed cubby which you could it's really functional you could put anything in here you know garlic um, garlic taters onions stuff like that if you want to you know use it really functional and practical um, or you could be like me and just set you know really cute seasonal decor in it and stuff and then you still have a um, you know a, a Space here to put more decor on top of it so you could put little jugs or yellowware um, or even a little sign and then also this can also be hung so they have these little um, can you hear my kids screaming oh my goodness I'm sorry <laughs> but um, they have these little things here on both sides so you can actually hang this as well which would it would look like really cute in a bathroom also you could put this anywhere but I really like that so I picked that up this was I believe like $21 $20 so it was a pretty good buy because it's a good size and the last thing I'm going to show you that I got at Country Rose Boutique is, you all know, I'm just a sucker for a good crock or jug. And that is the number one thing that when I go into an antique store or somewhere that sells vintage stuff, antique stuff, primitive stuff, these are the number one things that I search for. Like I'll do, I'll, I usually, I kind of have a little system. I usually um, go through a store like three or four times. The first time I go through a store, I know exactly what I'm looking for. I search for these babies. I search for jugs, I search for Crocs. Um, and I'm picking like really fast. Like I mean business, I'm on the hunt. I know exactly what I want. And my eyes are just like scanning. All you people that are always on the hunt for things or always love picking or antiquing or going to flea markets, you all know what I mean. You have these items in your head that you decorate with your house all the time, all year round, and they're just staple pieces in your collections and you're like, your eyes are just there. You already know like what you want. That's me and my Crocs and jugs. So. Um, I saw this when I was on my third trip around. I go one direction one time and then I'll go through the store the opposite direction because with antique stores and places like that, they have, um, hold on, my phone's gonna die. Ooh. They have items tucked into everywhere I mean you're like bending over and stuff looking for things it's not just like a grocery store where everything is you know lined up perfectly on the shelf and you have eye shot of like every single item they're offering no so I found this I think like the third time I actually bent down to look at like this little furnace that was in front of it and when I bent down that's when I saw this and I was like, oh, how could I miss her? So anyway, <laughs> I got this jug. I would say it's, I mean, it's almost the size of like a gallon of milk. Um, so it's probably like a gallon size sometimes. No, it doesn't say anything on the bottom. But isn't she pretty? I haven't really cleaned her up yet or anything, but um, I got this and this I know was like $22 because I saw it and I was like $22 she's mine she's coming home with me so um, yeah 
this is the last thing that I got at the Country Rose Boutique. Now I did go antique shopping as well um, at one of my local favorite antique stores. Um, but I'm gonna probably go antique shopping again this weekend. So I kind of wanted to do a whole haul with just antique stuff from antique stores. Um, so be on the lookout for that if you love antique shopping like I do and just finding really good one of a kind items. Um, but this is what I got from um, Country Rose Boutiques, which like I said, you if you all are in Southern California and like taking like little day trips and stuff to new, um, you know, country stores, home decor stores, you definitely need to check out this one in Norco. It's right off the 15 freeway. So if you're not familiar with Norco, Norco sits like north of Corona. So I would totally check um, Country Rose Boutique out. And they, off they also have like, um, you know, little sales and little, um, like discount days and stuff like that. Um, I know they're also on Facebook, so if you kind of want to get a better idea of what the store offers, um, you could check them out on Facebook as well. Um, so this is the items I got. So everything was antique or vintage with the exception of these little um, black primitive cubbies. So. I was happy. I left happy and surprised that, you know, on a whim and coincidentally, I just happened to stumble into this place and I found finally a little country. Um, I wouldn't call it country. There's actually a lot of farmhouse in there. Um, but because they have these vendors there, these small booths, um, there in the back of the store, I'm sorry, I have an itch. <laughs> in the back of the store, um, they offered, you know, all these little pieces that I always look for. So I was really happy. Love that store. Definitely gonna be visiting again and again. So I'm so happy that I found it. So be on the lookout for next week. I hope to. Um, load up and shoot another video just geared towards antiques and i'm done <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you're not subscribed i would love for you to join my youtube family and thank you so much again for your time and for all the love and support take care god bless bye bye